All right, guys, in this video, we're going to go ahead and detail and clean up the interior of this 06 Buick Rendezvous. So, as you can see, they were a Michael Jackson lover. There's Michael Jackson stickers all over the place. But one thing they weren't a lover of is keeping their vehicle clean. So, I'll show you, like, there's this, and then you can see over there the grime and stuff that's on that, and then, of course, the floors. So I've already taken the seats out and uh, kind of pressure washed them. I haven't taken this one out, but our goal for this evening is to go ahead and get everything in here vacuumed and cleaned up. And then I'm going to start cleaning on the door panels by using some uh, chemical guys products and then the use of this steam cleaner. So first off, let's get all this stuff gathered up, get it out of the vehicle and get a good vacuum in. All right, so I've got everything vacuumed, obviously. Uh, the driver's side is going to be the worst side. So we have a little bit of matting here and some up there. So we'll see how that cleans up. But you can see there's just stains everywhere. But starting out, I'm going to clean uh, all this and go ahead and clean this door panel since I am in and out of it a lot. And this thing is super sticky. So first thing I'm going to do is spray it down with some of uh, this chemical guy's nonsense invisible cleaner. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. I'm going to spray everything down and let it be soaking. And then I'm going to use my steamer and work. I'm not going to continually hold it on there, but I'm going to just use some steam and just go over and everything because this is going to sanitize it really nice and I won't have to worry about it. Just to show you guys, see that piece that's clean right there? That's just solely from using this cleaner. So you can see how well this uh, Chemical Guys product works. Over here, you can literally see the dirt falling off of it so all i did is spray this i haven't hit it with the uh steamer yet but you can see how good this stuff is look at that crazy but i just wanted to stop and show you that you could just use this and it'll wipe off so very good let's look at this button Just like that, clean button. But we're gonna let that steamer steam up so we can get a lot of this uh, baked skin, <laughs> basically like a few years on there. Just look at that. Clean that thing right up. You can see the end of this, the nastiness. Look at that, just wiped it right away. So the steaming is only going to make it that much better, make it that much cleaner. So let's uh, let's keep cleaning. So I had to stop and show you guys this. Check out the shift knob, right? Looks nice and black. Let me show you. This is what it used to look like. I thought it was sun faded. I can get my camera to focus you can see it back there that was like makeup i know my camera's not focusing very well but yeah right there you go so that was makeup dead skin all that i just thought this thing was sun faded so i'll show you a little bit too while i'm got it there is the console there's the side and then there's that door panel. So of course this is the first to go over with the steamer. I'll go back over with a brush and some cleaner and then some protectant and uh, we'll get it all lined out. But just wanted to stop and show you that. All right, so as you can see, cleaning is going great. The thing is super clean. I've got down to this side. I've cleaned every panel and every window, except for the front glass and of course this door panel here. So the reason I don't have this door panel on is because I broke this clip that holds the, uh, you can see this one's broke too, holds the uh, locking switch in. So what I'm gonna do is I have a hot stapler. I'm gonna go in, put some hot staples down through there, support, and then see if I can't melt some plastic over it. So here's my hot stapler. I'll show you what it looks like with the staples in it. All right, so there are my metal staples in. You can see I left enough room for the uh, switch to slide in and clip. I'll just have to cut these off right here and cut these off right here. But right now, I'm going to leave them on there 
and while I'll bridge my plastic across it and make it real nice and seam together and hopefully it'll stay and it'll last so let's just let me get this bridge together and I'll cut these off and show you the final product all right guys so next day here I got the door panel finished got it back on and cleaned it I am missing this little reflector here so I might try to look for it if not I'm not too concerned about it but I was trying to clean this center dash and stuff just kept flowing out of it and flowing out of it so I decided to take it all off so you can see there was still tons of shit under it uh candy papers and just nasty sucker papers and stuff like that so let me grab these i'll take these over here with me as you can see i pulled the bucket out of the console the lid took these guys out so i got this soaking over here with actual degreaser and i'll show you why so this is all the console pieces look at that so this ain't just caked in nastiness but what I'm going to do is I'm soaking all this in an actual heavy-duty degreaser. I'm going to pressure wash it. And then I'm going to go get me some Krylon paint that's a dark gray. And I'm going to repaint these dark gray surfaces. Because the more and more that I cleaned them with the steamer, trying to get that nasty off, it was flaking that paint up just because of how hot it was getting. So in return, it was kind of ruining it. And plus, I'll show you here in a second. Just spraying these down is the driver's side is more plumb off so you can see right there that's where the driver kept their i don't know their side or their hand or something the whole time you can see the whole side down through there kind of saw it yesterday they've just wore this piece off with their feet hitting it and stuff so i'm gonna try to darken in that black again and it should make it like 100 percent better i don't even know what that is all right, so I went to the store, got some dark gray, gray paint, and I believe it turned out pretty good. That's the driver's side where it was real bad flaked off before. And over here, passenger side. Then we'll go over, there's your center console. And then there's the uh, back piece with the vents in it. So it's all painted to match. So what I did was just take a red scotch spray pad, as you see right there, scuffed everything up real good, blowed it off with air hose, took some prep wall, wiped everything down real good, and then sprayed it with this uh, Rust-Oleum paint and primer for plastic. So the results turned out really nice. I'm really impressed with it. It's pretty close to the original collar. So I've just been letting it sit out here and dry. So I'm ready to install it. So, pretty impressed with it. Now moving on over here, I've been trying to uh, scrub and clean and use the steam cleaner and try to get some of this carpet clean. See, I'm working on it. We'll keep trying until I get most of these stains off. I've been working up there in the roof too. Trying my best to get some of them stains off come along it's gonna take a little while but <laughs> right now i've got this seat belt stretched out because look how disgusting this thing is it's so caked on there with whatever that it feels like plastic so i've actually sprayed degreaser on it and i'm gonna pressure wash it so that's the next step see what it looks like when it's finished Oh, end of day two, so went ahead and put the baking soda in for the night. We'll go ahead and roll up the windows, call it quits, and start to clean up. All right, guys, so next day, I went ahead and got all the, back, the baking soda vacuumed out. I went to the parts store, and I picked up some of this uh, Superior Coverall Zap It Stain Remover. I actually used it on the headliner, which turned out phenomenal. Took all those stains out. It worked really well. Went over the whole headliner. It looks awesome. Then I used it and the blue corral, you see it laying over there, typical stuff from your parts store. As you can see, I got as much of, much of those stains up as I could. Uh, got a little bit of that matting out that was in the carpet. I already got that seat finished, but this is about the best it's gonna get with the equipment that I've got. So the main point of it is it's really clean. I've actually steamed it four times. So, 
the seat back here is really nice came out really clean my brush came in so i have been using it it's a godsend so if you haven't got a nice interior brush they sell a set on amazon uh, it was like 20 bucks worth every penny of it some more headliner action all right so the next thing we're gonna do is i'm gonna uh wipe down that air duct and then i'm gonna go get my piece that we painted yesterday and go ahead and get it installed back in with the whole center console and then i'm gonna start working on putting the back seats in because they just clip in that's the easiest and then we'll work our way to the front and we should have a full interior by the end of this video all right guys so just gonna be a couple photos here for me getting it back together everything went smooth everything came out looking great so if you guys like this quick cleaning video, please hit that subscribe button and follow me on Instagram at MustangJackson67. But until next time, let's keep building.